Okay, I need y'all to do something for me. These lights that's on this on this platform, are they blinding you out there? Or are they okay? These these light these lights, are they still shining in your eyes, or or did I move them enough to where you they fine? They're good. All right, thank y'all. I appreciate it. I'm 
This time for Africa. When I get older, I will be stronger They'll call me freedom, just like a waving flag Stronger than Rome, but violent prone, poor people's zone, but it's my home, all I have known, where I got grown, streets we would roam, out of the dark, they'll call me free. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to begin our International uh, Week Chapel. Um, make sure that the, uh, yeah, take your picture, Charles, and then <laughs> I, I don't want them to run over you. All right, Dr. Langley and others, if y'all make sure that the aisle are clear, is clear so that we can parade our flags in. We want to respect our international community as we celebrate them today. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We're ready to begin. Stronger, they'll call me freedom, just like a waving flag. When I get older, I will be stronger. They'll call me freedom, just like a waving flag. And then it goes back, and then it goes back, and then it goes back. Oh, 
down to a throne, stronger than Rome, but violent prone, poor people's own, but it's my own, all I have known, where I got grown, streets we would roam, out of the darkness, I came the farthest, among the hardest survivors. Learn from these streets, it can be bleak, accept no defeat, surrender, retreat. So we struggle in, fighting to eat, and we wonder when we'll be free. So we patiently wait for that fateful day, it's not far away. But for now, we say, when I get older, I will be stronger. They'll call me freedom, just like the way they play. Then it goes back, then it goes back, then it goes back. So many wars, settling scores, bringing us promises, leaving us poor. I heard them say, love is the way, love is the answer, that's what they say. But look how they treat us, make us believe us. We fight their battles, and then they deceive us. Try to control us, they couldn't hold us, cause we just move forward like Buffalo soldiers. We struggle in, fighting to eat, and we wonder when we'll be free. So we patiently wait for that fateful day, it's not far away. But for now we say, when I get older, I will be stronger. They'll call me freedom, just like the way they Could we have uh, Jaslyn Valesco, I hope I didn't mispronounce your name, I apologize, to come and bring, give us our welcome, after which Maureen will come as well as Mark. Good morning, everyone. To President Newman, First Lady Gro Gloria Newman, our guest speaker for today. What's your name? Wedit. Wedit. Jakub. Jakubit and faculty, staff, and students. We welcome you today to our fifth annual of International Chapel at Jarvis Christian College, sponsored by Multicultural Student Organization and Office of Diversity. We are a growing organization of diverse campus with different nationalities, cultures, races, and religions. We come together at Jarvis today to celebrate and show appreciation as well as recognition to those among us who are from international countries, as well as experience, love, and share their traditions, lives with us. Thank you, and again, we welcome you. We come together to offer a unique opportunity to reach out to people in the nations represented by our Jovers family, to understand culture, 
world cultures and languages, and reiterate the conviction that during enduring friendship and partnership created through international education. And exchanges are important. This, our, this is our opportunity for us to recognize, celebrate, and appreciate our diversity at Jehovah's Christian <coughs> College. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Mark from Gabon, and I'll do the occasion in French. Nous nous réunissons pour offrir une occasion unique de tendre la main aux personnes des nations représentées par notre famille Jarvis, de comprendre les cultures et les langues du monde et de ré réitérer la conviction que les amitiés et les partenariats durables créés grâce à l'éducation et à l'échange international sont importants. C'est l'occasion pour nous de nous reconnaître, de célébrer et d'apprécier notre diversité à Jarvis Christian College. Thank you. I'm too short for this. Um, would you all join me in a prayer? Dear Lord, we praise you to get today for the diversity we see all around us. We rejoice you. We rejoice in the complex beauty of your creation. Help us today. Help us celebrate the wonderful brand of cultures and people in this world by actively seeking peace and unity with one another. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Good morning, everybody. My name is Katiani Chornedo from San Juan, Puerto Rico. I would like to pray for this service, and I would like everyone to join me. Close your eyes and bow your head. Señor, te adoramos y te bendecimos. Reconocemos que tú eres Dios, nuestro Dios. Te damos gracias por este día, este día en el cual nos has permitido a cada uno de nosotros estar en este lugar. Gracias, Dios, por acordarte una vez más abrir nuestros ojos en, el, en esta mañana. Gracias por la oportunidad de estar reunidos como hermanos, no importando las diferencias de cultura, idioma y raza, porque nos regocijamos y maravillamos en tu hermosa y variada creación. Ayúdanos a permanecer en armonía, celebrando la diversidad de cultura y personas aquí en Jarvis Christian College y en el mundo. Todo esto te lo pido en el nombre poderoso de tu Hijo amado Jesucristo. Amén. Good morning, everyone. Our scripture reading is Psalms chapter 67. God, be merciful to us and bless us, and cause your face to shine upon us, and your way may be known on earth, and your salvation among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then the earth will yield her increase, and our God, our own God, shall bless us. He shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Thank you. Bom dia a todos. A script of the hoje is Salomon 67. Que Deus nos abençoa e nosso abençoa para abrir sobre nosso e sorte seja conhecente na terra e sua vontade e sua salvação no meu de todos e rosso o que o povo de salvação de Deus é pessoal obrigado al, al grande se isso nação se contena de alegria, porque na justiçao de alegria o povo é guardando nação do mundo. 
o que Deus nos abençoa. Que povo de Folsão, Deus todos e pessoal. E obrigado a terra. Deus o seu crescimento e Deus nosso nos abençoa, nosso abençoa de, de nosso abençoar a abençoação a todos e extensão de mundo vai temer velho óleo para semana tradição participação relação muito obrigado a todos Good morning, everyone. I see everybody looking fresh. Yeah. Tasoma mandiko, matakatifu kwenye zaburi. Sitini na saba, mstari wa kwanza, mpaka saba. Inasema, Mungu atufazili na kutubariki. Na kutuangazia uso wake, njia yake julikane duniani. Wokovu wake katikati ya mataifa, yote. Watu na washukuru, e Mungu watu na washukuru. Mataifa na washangilie nam waimbe kwa furaha. Maana kwa haki Mungu atawahukumu watu. Na kuwaongoza mataifa walioko duniani. Watu na washukuru e Mungu, watu washukuru. Inchi imetoa mazao yake Mungu, Mungu wetu ametubariki. Mungu atatubariki sisi, miisho yote ya dunia itamcha yeye. Zaburi 133 inasema tazama jinsi ilivyo vema na kupendeza ndugu wakae pamoja kwa umoja kwa hiyo ndugu zangu na wasii wote tupendane na tuwe kitu kimoja maana baba yetu ni mmoja na natupenda sote thank you so much Good morning. 
We are honored to have as our guest speaker for the fifth International Week, Chapel Professor and Fulbright Scholar, Mr. Walid Iyakubi. Professor Kayobi serves at Jarvis Christian College as professor of the Arabic language. He was born in Metlawi, Tunisia, raised with five brothers and one sister, and his parents were retailers operating their own business. Professor Iyakubi and his sister were the only two in their family to attend college and graduate. He attended the High Institute Institute of Industrial Management of Safax, where he studied and completed his master's in computer engineering. While in the United States, he studied the very challenging courses and became certified at the University of Oracle in Java SE8 as a programmer. In 2011, Professor Iyakubi opened his own professional training center in his hometown to prepare students to be administrators, IT profession, as well as become proficient in the English and French languages. In 2014, he married Hella Goslin, and together they have three children, ages two, five, and eight. His wife is a material engineer working for an industrial engineer firm. He has a passion for traveling and has visited Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Oman, and the United States. We welcome you, Professor, and we are very happy that you chose to share your knowledge with us at Jarvis Christian College. We welcome you and look forward to hearing from you after the singing with our choir. Thank you. Thanks. 
Hello everyone. Uh, most of you uh, think that uh, speaking Arabic maybe is a hard part to, to do. But for me, it was the opposite because I was a native Arabic speaker. So for me, as a uh, Tunisian, so uh, Learning English was hard for me, and I have nothing to do about, to, to related to English at that time. It's about 2003, 2004. So by the time I graduated, and even before, after I graduated from high school, so uh, uh, I chose my passion, computer science, technology in another city. So my father, I belong to a lower income family. So my father, Ibrahim, said, son, can you choose another? Uh, field because uh, I can't afford you to study abroad or far away from my city. By that time I was young, I said no. I have to. I have, that's my decision. That's my life. So I will do whatever it costs for me to to follow my passion. So I went there, but he supported me. <laughs> he didn't let me. But yeah. So after that, I had chance uh, to go to uh, Oman, to the Gulf region. That was my first chance to learn about new culture because in the Gulf region is not only Arabic Muslims people, there is a lot of Indian, a lot of Christian people, a lot of uh, other uh, stuff I can learn there. So that was my, my first confront with, uh, with other uh, people. So that time, one of my friends told me, hey, Walid, why you don't, why you don't start learning English seriously? I said, could that, could that be possible? So he said, yeah, you can do that. So from 2009, I start learning English seriously by myself. And uh, I found it's very, I find it's easy to learn English. So I find the way to learn English as not a native speaker. So uh, I went home, I, I resigned from that job that I had in uh, Oman. I went home to open my own private training center and the idea there is how to, uh, to, to help people learn the language in a different way. So I think anyone here can learn any language if he wants to do that. So my experience is uh, an example. So it was my own uh, train. I opened my own training center in 2000 2011. So my passion to the language is not because uh, I, I love to speak, but because the English, as an example, helps me to learn computer science, to learn other culture, to learn other people. So uh, I enhanced my language until 2015, even, because, even uh, if I am um, a computer science uh, engineer, uh, the, someone offered me a job as a translator translate the articles, newspapers from uh, French, English language to the Arabic, to the Arabic mainstream media. It's maybe you know that, maybe it's, you know Al Jazeera. So I worked in, uh, as, uh, uh, for uh, the team of Al Jazeera as a translator for about three years. And when, when, I, when I've been working that time, I have my first daughter, it's called Miriam. So uh, after a while, the company decided to fire me. They said, you have this, you, you want more salary and we need a freshman. So I said, okay, that would be fine. 
by the by the time I got this chance <laughs> uh, to be here, and that is 2018. I found uh, the Fulbright grant in uh, the U.S. Embassy uh, account, Facebook account ca uh, page. So I said I don't have anything to lose. Just, uh, just, uh, just for let's fill the form and start the, the, the mission. So uh, that time uh, they called me, "Hey, Walid, we think you are a great uh, candidate for this uh, grant. Let's let's do the, the first interviewing." So I went there. Uh, it was a great interview. Yeah, but uh, what's what's important there that the, the women who interviewed me was so happy about me, about the knowledge that they have, about how uh, about skills, everything. So when I was about to leave, she started giving me the candies that she has on uh, on her desk. So that was so uh, important and just for me. I like it a lot. So uh, many people say, uh, so why I uh, I left my country, my family, my three children to be here in Jarvis as a Fulbrighter. So let's explain what's a Fulbright uh, program first. Maybe that you can be an answer for you. So as mentioned in Wikipedia, the Fulbright program is one of several United States culture exchange programs with the goal to improve intercultural relations cultural diplomacy, and intercultural and competence between the American people of the United States and other countries through the exchange of persons, knowledge, and skills. Via the program, competitively selected American citizens, including students, scholars, teachers, professionals, scientists, and artists, may receive scholarship or grants to study, conduct, research, teach, or exercise their talent abroad and citizens from, of other countries may qualify to do the same in the United States. So uh, uh, the program was founded by the United States Senator James William Fulbright in 1946. Many people say, what's the importance of the date here, 1946? 1946 is the end of the, the, the Second World War. So the senator here, he was, he was thinking about how to, to help uh, establish peace uh, in the world. So this is the program of, uh, of Fulbright. It's about this. The world is tired of war, of, of, of killing, of all that mess. So uh, this program uh, comes in this uh, purpose. OK? So. Uh, the need for the Fulbright program is to establish peace in the world after the world lost 100 million people uh, died in the, the, in the First World War and the Second World War. So I choose, I choose to talk about the topic of peace because the mission itself is about mutual understanding and peace. So I want to say what Islam and what Quran mentioned about peace and about this topic, okay? All praise is due to God. We ask God the Almighty to bless every single one of us and to grant every single one of us every point of mercy. And may God protect us from evil and our offspring. And may he make us amongst those who can help one another May he protect us really from those who are evil and from evil deeds and mean. So I have chosen this afternoon to talk about the Islamic greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The peace of Allah Almighty. When I say Allah, it's, it's interchangeable with God. So Allah, God is the same thing. So assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. The peace of God Almighty be upon you and his mercy and his blessing. So the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, peace be upon him, said, by the one in whose hand is my soul, you will not enter paradise until you believe, and you will not believe until you love one another. Shall I inform you about matter which if you do it, then you will love one another. So what does that matter? It's spread peace, spread 
salam among each other. The first thing I'd like to make mention of is the meaning of this term. I told you the, um, uh, you moments ago, may the peace of God be upon you and his mercy and his blessing. However, it's a shallow translation. It's a very quick way of translating it. The deeper meaning, as we are taught by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when it comes to peace, if someone is to tell you, may be peace upon you, peace upon you from what? From my harm to start with, which I means, which means I guarantee you, I won't harm you. So when Muslims tell someone, assalamu alaikum, they are telling them, my guarantee to you is no harm. I will never do anything to harm you. What a powerful greeting is, assalamu alaikum. And this is why when a Muslim greets people, it's up, up to him never, ever to harm them or to make sure he has not harmed them. Over and above the issue of harm and the fact that the greeting itself is a guarantee that you will not harm an individual or a group of people, I'm invoking the blessing of God upon that individual or upon the group of people that I have greeted. So when Muslims say, rahmatullah, they are saying, may the peace, may the blessing of God be upon you. I, I ask God to bless you. May the blessing of God be upon you. So we are making prayer for the blessing as well for the mercy. Could there be a better greeting than this? Could there be a better greeting than every time when you meet a person, you tell him, I won't harm you. I will not going to harm you. I promise you I, I promise you I won't harm you. Not only that, the greeting the, the, the greeting includes a prayer. Say, may you be at peace with, with your own creator. May you be at, uh, at peace in your soul. May you be at peace in your mind. May you be at peace within the organs of your body. May you be at peace with your own creator. May you be at peace in your social life. May you be at peace in your economic life. All that is included in one greeting, peace be upon you. And this is why the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, instructed that don't ignore people when they see them. Invoke the blessing of God upon them. So I'm going to recite some verses of the Quran in the Arabic language. So reciting the Quran is not only reading, it's different things. So I'm going to recite that, and uh, thank you for passion. وَإِذَا جَاءَكَ الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِآيَاتِنَا فَقُلْ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ كَتَبَ رَبُّكُمْ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ الرَّحْمَةِ أَنَّهُ مَنْ عَمِلَ مِنْكُمْ سُوءًا بِجَهَالَةِ ثم تاب من بعده وأصلح فإنه غفور رحيم. The translation is, when those who believe in our revelation come to you, to the Prophet, saying, peace be upon you, your Lord has taken upon himself mercy. Whoever among you does evil in ignorance, then repents afterwards and reforms. He is forgiving and Merciful. وَإِذَا حُيِّيتُمْ بِتَحِيَّةٍ فَحَيُّوا بِأَحْسَنَ مِنْهَا أَوْ رُدُّوهَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ حَسِيبًا When you are greeted with a greeting, respond with a better greeting or return it. Allah keeps account of all things. The story of Moses and his brother Aaron mentioned in the Quran here and the dialogue that uh, happens between Moses, the prophet of God, and Pharaoh. Pharaoh is a dictator who is killing people. So what God said to them, اذهب أنت وأخوك بآياتي ولا تنيا في ذكري Go, you and your brother, with my proofs and do not neglect my remembrance. Go to Pharaoh. اذهب إلى فرعون إنه طغى Go to Pharaoh. He has tyrannized. 
فَقُولَا لَهُ قَوْلًا لَيِّنًا لَعَلَّهُ يَتَذَكَّرُ أَوْ يَخْشَى But speak to him gently. See, he, asked, he ordered the Prophet to speak gently to Pharaoh. Go to Pharaoh, uh, sorry, but speak to him gently. Perhaps he will be mindful or have some fear. So, قال ربنا إننا نخاف أن يفرط علينا أو أن يطغى. They said, Our Lord, we fear he may persecute us or become a violent, or become violent, sorry. So, what God said to them, قال لا تخافا إنني معكما أسمع وأرى. He said, God said, Do not fear. I'm with you, I hear and I see. فَأْتِيَاهُ فَقُولَا إِنَّا رَسُولَا رَبِّكَ فَأَرْسِلْ مَعَنَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ وَلَا تُعَذِّبْهُمْ قَدْ جِئْنَاكَ بِآيَةٍ مِّنْ رَبِّكَ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَى مَنْ اتَّبَعَ الْهُدَى So approach him and say, we are the messengers of your Lord. So let the children of Israel go with us and do not torment them. We have come to you with a message from your Lord and peace be upon whoever follows the guidance. So here is about peace at the end and the peace upon whoever follows the guidance. Another thing may Muslims do about the greeting of Islam, they greet Beside a uh, greeting each others, when Muslims enter houses and home, homes, it is duty to greet themselves before starting anything. We have an obligation to do two things here. Let's see what the Quran mentioned about this. يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تدخلوا بيوتا غير بيوتكم حتى تستأنسوا حتى تستأنسوا وتسلموا على أهلها ذلكم خير لكم لعلكم تذكرون. Or you have, or you who believe, do not enter homes that do not belong to you. Until and unless you first make it known that you are there, so you have to make known. You maybe uh, make some noise saying, "Hey, I'm here. Can I get in this house?" And then you greet aloud with the greeting. The greeting is, "Peace be upon you." Then you have permission to enter. And let's say if that house is not your house, you are getting that house. When a house is not yours then you cannot just enter it, open the door and go in. No, you need to knock first. You need to clear your throat. So just to say, I'm here. So people know you are there. You need to maybe make a little bit of sound so people can realize you are there and they permit you to enter the house. Then you greet them with the Islam greeting, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Those are the etiquette of entry into the home. So if you are not permitted, you need to go away without feeling bad. If they say to you, turn back, we don't need you to visit us, we are busy, perhaps we need some privacy, we need to go back without even have, have the right to feel bad, okay? So maybe the family is there enjoying their private uh, moment, so maybe you are bothering them, so it's better if they say to you, go back to leave them without even get mad of this. So uh, I want to talk about, many people say, if this is peace in Islam, so what's going on there with terrorism, with killing, with all of what we know about, about that, that bad thing. So what's going on there? So let's say that uh, those people who are committing those crimes are not following what God is saying here. Let's see what this verse in the Quran what's mentioned. مِنْ أَجْلِ ذَلِكَ كَتَبْنَا عَلَى بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ أَنَّهُ مَنْ قَتَلَ نَفْسًا بِغَيْرِ نَفْسٍ أَوْ فَسَادٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ فَكَأَنَّمَا قَتَلَ النَّاسَ جَمِيعًا 
ومن أحياها فكأنما أحيا الناس جميعا ولقد جاءتهم رسلنا بالبينات ثم إن كثيرا منهم بعد ذلك في الأرض لمسرفون So what's the translation here? Because of this, we ordained for the children of Israel that whoever kills a person, killing one person, it is as though he killed the whole of humankind. And whoever saves it, whoever saves one person, it is as though he saved the whole humankind. Our messengers come, came to them with clarifications, but even after that, many of them continue to commit excesses in the land. So I, I have to finish here. I have a lot to, to say, but uh, uh, as uh, I have another chance to talk about my faith, uh, and I will participate in a diversity night, sharing more about this, who are gonna, is interested, you can join us. Thank you, thank you for having me here and giving the chance to talk about my culture and religion. And thank you for selecting me to be a for a writer at Drivers Christian College. Thank you. Let us, um, let us celebrate Professor Wali. Come on, clap our hands for him. Let me say this before we make our announcement. Um, this is an important exercise. This is important. We live in a diverse world. And too often, Dr. Prude, we make our world small and forget the vastness of it. And I ask this question of us before I make the announcement. What if you were the one in a place where you were different from everybody else? How would you feel? It is the responsibility. Now, those in the room that are Christians, let me remind us of what our Bible says. How can you say you love God whom you have never seen? And yet you hate your brother, your sister, who you see every day. The scripture says you are a liar and the truth is not in you. Can we celebrate with our hands one more time our international community? <laughs> These are our announcements uh, for this chapel. Uh, this is International Week and there are a number of activities taking place each day in celebration of the international community. So today at 6.30, there's an international soccer game in the auxiliary gym, and they're going to have some refreshments for that. Wednesday, tomorrow, uh, March 23rd at 7 p.m., there will be international arts and crafts in the fellowship hall. Um, I found out last night that there's a couple of uh, international students who think they can play dominoes, bless their heart. Um, <laughs> Thursday, March 24th, They'll be traveling with a cup of English tea from three to four in the Fellowship Hall of the Chapel, Friday, March 25th. There'll be a multicultural Remington, uh, 7.30 p.m. to 12 a.m. 12 in the Auxiliary Gym. I want to invite you to call in every day for prayer at 7.45 a.m. as we continue our 40 days of prayer during the season of Lent. The call-in number is 978-990-5000, and the access code is 325812-POUND. Uh, Ms. Henson sends this announcement that there are scholarship opportunities uh, through the TADC Urban Scholarship Fund. Contact her at chudson at jarvis.edu. Attention all graduating seniors. Attention all graduating seniors. Attention all graduating seniors. Be sure to submit your graduation application this week. It has to be cleared by the business office, financial aid, and your advisor, and your cap and gown information. Size and weight should be sent to the registrar's office this week. Additionally, graduating seniors, there is a meeting for all graduating seniors Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 at 5 p.m. in the Meyer Auditorium. There will be a resume building workshop. Uh, for business majors, it's going to be Tuesday, March 22nd, 1 to 3 for education majors to be Tuesday, March 22nd, 3 to 7.30. For criminal justice and social work majors, Wednesday, March 23rd, 4 to 7 p.m. Uh, the summer enrichment program in mathematical biology, uh, May 9th through the 20th, uh, will take place. If you would like information, contact Dr. Samiano for more information. There will be a virtual career fair. 
Tuesday, March 31st, 9.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Uh, contact Mr. Talley for more information. The Early Start Program needs mentors. Listen, students at this, they need mentors. Uh, if you are a STEM major and you're looking to make extra money this summer, please contact Dr. Antonisha Holman uh, for information. UNCF scholarships are available. Please make sure that you contact Ms. Hudson. Uh, the, contact Ms. Gia Pettis uh, for more information about mandatory community service hours for graduation uh, at gpettis at jarvis.edu or extension 2909. Then this Sunday morning, we will continue our worship experience on Sunday morning at 11 a.m. I want to preach a message this Sunday morning time titled, It's Time to Defend Womanhood. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to celebrate Ms. Linda Hernandez and the entire uh, multicultural organization. We thank y'all so much. Uh, for your efforts this week. At this time, we want to ask that you would stand as we sing together our alma mater. Once we have sang our, once we have sung our alma mater, is Dr. Lee here? He's not. I understand. I understand. Okay, so we're going we're going to acapella sing our alma mater. Once we have done that, then. We're going to ask you, ladies and gentlemen, please hear me just another moment, please. Then we're going to ask you to please make sure that you have your seats so that we can possess the flags out and then we will leave the building. Let's sing together. Oh, never mind. There he is. I got you. The Lord lift up the light of God's countenance on you and be gracious unto you. And may the Lord grant you God's peace. Amen. Please have your seats for just a moment. And allow our flag bearers to carry out our flags and then we will recess out. And so we all 
you must lend a helping hand. We are the world, we are the children. We are the one to make a brighter day, so let's start giving. Oh, there's a chance for me, yeah. We'll save it all alive. If you we make a better day, just you and me. We can die.